So you bought your RC four wheel drive Galande two cruiser kit and uh, started building it and about time you needed to get some lights in there. Uh, they really did a nice job of um, adding all the correct lights. So now you want to get those LEDs in there. So uh, this here is going to be an introduction to the new uh, Galande two cruiser light kit. Uh, so. Let's get started. So here's a new kit. The kit comes with the LEDs for each one of the uh, lights on the body. Um, this here is your fronts. As you can see, here's your front headlights. You'll also see that there's two different types of ambers. There are square ones. Let me see if I can get you to see this. I might not be able to. Yeah, there you go. See how they're square? Those are for the side lights, the marker lights. And these are for the turn signals. On the other side of this, you will see the bigger ones are your brake lights. The red ones okay the red ones that are the square ones like the other ones I don't know if you can see that uh, those are the side marker lights and then the ambers are for the inside um, bumper lights. Now, the neat thing they did here was because these four lights are on the bumper, they thought about it and put it a disconnect on. So now when you go to take your body off, you don't have to juggle around. You just unplug it and then plug it back in. So that alone is a great, uh, great thought on RC4 Drive's uh, side here. Um, also, you're going to get two brass screws. These here are to be used for the turn signals. They will actually thread in here, but what you got to do first, you got to put the wire in and do that, and I'll show you how you do that when we get to that. Okay. Something I've done a long time ago when I started playing around with LEDs, I soldered a plug onto a 9 volt battery. That way it's very easy to test. It really doesn't drain much and I have it ready to go. When this battery dies I just unsolder it and solder it to a new one. The first thing you want to do when you're uh, doing any type of uh, wiring or anything like that is make sure you have everything organized and ready to go so you don't get confused. So I have here, these are all my rear lights and brackets. Here's all my fronts. Here's my bumper lights. I'm going to keep those separate. Then these are the body lights. Okay. So I'm going to just put this over to the side. And I'm going to put these over to the side because that's all for the bumper. All right. So the next thing you got to do is you've got to bring your body in. Let me see if I can do this so you can see. As you can see here, I've already placed the light buckets in for the headlights, and I've also put in the side marker lights right here. Okay, that's those right there, and the headlights. Okay, so these are pretty straightforward. The headlights are easy. Those are the five millimeter. They're the bigger ones. So what you want to do is very carefully place this connector. Let's see if you can get it uh, right there. You'll see it's a, it's wide in the center. It's got a thin opening. So you got to put it through the wire first. You got to work. 
the wire through that area then see how loose it is then you want to put it like this okay so then what you do here is you get your screw I found that it's easier if you put the screw into the holder first and then go in and tighten it down. Now remember these are very small screws and it's going into plastic. So please make sure you don't force it because all you're going to do is if you force it you're going to break it and you don't want to do that and all you're doing is holding a light in so it's not something that you need to put a lot of force on. Do the same thing with the other one. I try and keep the wires kind of together here see how this is that way you're not twisting wires. Be very careful when you're putting these in that you don't crimp a wire because that'll and you'll have to repair it. Next we're going to do is the amber side markers. These are these two right here. Remember they're the square ones. So what you want to do here, same same deal as you want the cup side. See how it's cupped there and raised. You want to put the light in the cupped area. So you again be very careful what you're doing. Place it in there. You can see. And then what you want to do is you want to you want to place that right in that hole. Make sure you line it up right so you don't force it. Again, it's only plastic. Okay, now comes the turn signals. Let me get these wires out of here so you can see the turn signals. You've got these little brass nuts and they've got an opening on them. That opening is to put the wire through, but very, be very careful because these brass things are sharp and you don't want them to cut the wire. See how this is? And then what you want to do is you want to slide that all the way up. Just be very careful. You want it up flush against the bulb like so. Okay. And what you're going to do, hopefully I can show you this. You've got your turn signal. You're going to put that there. You're going to put your light up in and then start tightening it. Just be very careful in the beginning. Get it threaded right. While you're tightening, please be careful that you don't twist the wire. And if you do, let the whole wire twist. And then you can always go back and turn it back. But make sure you're not just twisting it and then end up breaking it okay and really you can do this with your hands like that okay and your turn signals on very easy let's do the other one Again, make sure 
you're putting one wire at a time work it up to the top here you might have to pinch oops sorry you might have to pinch the wire a little bit to get it all the way flush like I said if it's going to twist make sure the whole wire is twisting not just see how I have this twisted here make sure the whole wire is twisting and not just where the light is what you can do to just tighten it a little bit I get a little a pliers here and just give it like a half a crank and it really it bottoms out so you can't tighten it too much but just don't force it but it just gives it a little extra tension so that the lights don't swivel and shake okay so we'll get our lights here our bulb just make sure the lights are working you can see those are working now there's our marker here I'll turn the lights out there we go you can see the lights are on now repeat the same thing in the back identify the square ones Always remember not to tighten it down too tight. As soon as you get a little bit of resistance, um, stop turning it. We'll verify these ones real quick. It's working. Working. Now the great thing about this, like I said, our four-wheel drive really thought through this process because now I don't have to sit here and struggle with a chassis and a body trying to wire it together. I can take this and put it off to the side. First thing I want to do is verify that they work. Now I can bring the chassis over and mount the lights in the bumper. The Five millimeter, the larger ones go in the big lights. So as the other ones, same deal, you want to use the big uh, clamp, slide it in. Make sure you put it right up against the, you can see there, put your light in. remember not to tighten it all the way down just enough that it's not wiggling anymore okay when you mount this up make sure that you have the lights running above the bumper so that you can tuck them underneath the the body you can bring them through here and out okay but just make sure you're mounting this from the top
Okay, so there you go. You got those in. Okay. Now we'll bring the body back. We'll plug in the bumper side. And then we'll get our test battery and check it here. And as you can see, 